My name is Bashar Suleiman. And my name is Idris Chaudhry. We are students from Harmony School of Innovation, Sugarland, and this is our Level 2 PBL. HIV stands for Human Immunodeficiency Virus. It is a virus that attacks your immune system. It does this by targeting your T cells, a type of white blood cell that helps in fighting antigens. Antigens can be things like germs, toxins, chemicals, or even other viruses. By weakening your immune system, HIV makes it a lot easier for antigens to invade and weaken your body. HIV can also lead to AIDS, a deadly disease which has no cure. Here's our model. To begin with, a virus is not a cell, mainly because a virus needs a host cell in order to reproduce. Unlike human cells or bacteria, viruses don't contain the enzymes needed to carry out the chemical reactions needed for life. They only contain one or two enzymes used to decode the DNA or RNA of the cell that they are hijacking. Viruses also don't contain as many organelles as cells do. Variants consist of nucleic acids, set of genetic instructions, either DNA or RNA, a capsid, a protein coat that surrounds the DNA or RNA, and an envelope, a lipid membrane that surrounds a protein coat. It's only found in some viruses, like HIV. They use it to basically melt through the melt through the membrane of the cell that they're attacking, which makes it a lot easier for them to get in and mess things up. The first thing a virus like HIV does before it, it takes over its host cell is it identifies and finds the host cell using its glycoproteins. Once this is completed or achieved, the, cell, the virus uses its viral envelope to melt or phase through that cell cell membrane. After this, reverse transcriptase enzyme begins to, un, begins to decode that cell's DNA and it uses the, the virus's RNA as a template for turning the cell into a virus-making factory. And the capsid is just a simple protein coat that surrounds the RNA and the, and the enzymes to protect it. For our ELA connection, we as a group wrote a narrative about one of our group members, Amar's relatives, who is living with HIV currently, and he tells us how he handles it day by day and how he lives in his daily life. For our social studies connection, we as a group made a timeline that went into details about when the virus was first spotted, when breakthroughs in treating the disease that it causes AIDS occurred, and important events throughout the virus's history. In conclusion, this is our HIV virus model. Once again, my name is Ajis Chaudhry. And I'm Bashar Suleiman. And this is our Level 2 PBL.